arkadaşlar. Pussy puppy 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 puppy. Kepasa sakpa say what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. This one is called Young, Dumb and Full of C-U-M. Apparently, a set of youths in two separate vehicles, at least two separate vehicles, they decide that they are going to go on some sort of joyride just to show their driving skill sets. Them a drive, everything was going according to plan. Everybody was excited, elated. Them cocky get stiff up by all of the buffoonery that the purse in front of them was doing and they were chasing closely behind him, videotaping the whole episode. However, people, it seems as if one wrong move turned it almost D-E-A-D-L-Y. Don't know if the person that was on his side of the road when this buffoon decided he wanted to overtake on the other side, not realizing too amped up, too much adrenaline rush that the other vehicle was coming head on. And that is exactly what happened. Then you heard the two other jackasses in the vehicle behind him. I say, I crash him, crash dog. As if them stupid or something. Have you ever seen that cartoon with a little crow and him talk like him kind of slow, like him have some sort of Down syndrome or something? I am not going over there. No, no, no. I'm not. This is how stupid and R-E-T-A-R-D-E-D this new generation of jackasses are in a Jamaica. Them take everything for a joke. It is all fun and joke until somebody gets hurt, until somebody loses their life. So therefore, for their own entertainment purposes, they are going to jeopardize the lives of persons that are going about their rightful business on their side of the road, just so they can get some sorts of stiffy of their stupidity. People, this is a sad state of affair. However, you know, because of YouTube's policy, I could not show you the collision. I could let you hear it. However, me can't show it because then they are going to restrict the video, block the video. So people, if you want to see these jackass in action, please send me a text. You want to see the video with the jackass, them in the video. And also your name, you want to join the group, the number 1876. 894-2711. Just send a text. Do not call. Do not video call. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, it is called Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates in Jamaica. Now a producer and his artists are claiming that dancehall artist the angel being a man, ex-wife, bounty killer, ex-girlfriend, she stole one of their song. I think the name is Boom. Their song is Boom. And Fiera song named Boom Boom. Vice versa. One of them named Boom. The next one named Boom Boom. Based on what the producer is saying, his artist did this song, released this song over a month ago. The timestamp timeline is on social media, YouTube. You can go check it out. He said that the melody, meaning the way in which the song is sing, sounds just the same. As a matter of fact, even the thumbnail, that is the picture that you put out when you are releasing the song, looks the same. So people, it tells you that some sorts of piracy, plagiarism took place without a shadow of a doubt. Now people, the truth and the fact that a lot of persons don't know, a lot of these persons that you see on social media and even artists, they are not as talented as they act as if they are. Most of the time, they are like Xerox machine. That means uh, them copy each, copy people things, them plagiarize them teeth, and then act as if they are the innovator, the originators of this. However, when it comes to a song, the person that releases it first and any sorts of social media platform is usually the person that is going to be seen as the originator. However, sometimes that is not the fact. 
because an artist will go on stage, have a song that he or she thinks is hot, perform the song, and then the big artist in the audience see it and copy and paste, run with it and go and put it out. So pretty much in that case, it is Big Bang takes Little Bang. That bigger artist is of the opinion that if them release this song, the people are going to say, or he or her, fan base is going to say, well, she a big artist, so therefore, why would she thief this person a cloud chase? This person is looking some sorts of come up off of their name, when all the while, that is not the fact. People, this happens more than you think. Even in my case, me are the first person to start drive around. I see people even calling me other bloggers name. Me not really look on it no sorts of way. Because me know say, whenever you are not as talented as you think, you usually copy and paste. Hope for trick the people them and boss. But the truth and the fact is that if you don't have any sorts of sustainability, don't have any sorts of skill set, it is not going to work and usually that person is going to flop. Because at the end of the day, people like original. At the end of the day, if you do not actually have the skill set and talent and style, you are not going to make it on social media. You are not going to make it as any sorts of artist. Yes, it is easy to copy and paste. However, how do you feel when you are not original? You feel like a fraud. And what is even worse, these people will go on social media on their platform and they defame this person's character. Them cuss out these people along with their fan base. Fan base being ignorant to the fact, thinking that the person that they are following is not a fraud. Start to turn upon the people, I call the people all sorts of stuff. So people, the moral of the story is this. Be very careful when you go on social media and you are cussing for these artists or these bloggers. Not knowing that they are a fraud, they are like Xerox machine. The only reason why they sound good is because them copy and paste people style and songs. Point blank and period. Further on in the news. You know, say, some of these dancehall artists, them are some cruff, them are some waste man, them negligent, them incompetent. I am speaking specifically about a situation as it pertains to dancehall artist Chi Ching Ching. Based on the information, it is said that he was charged for breaches of the firearm act. And this is based on an incident in which he was stopped in a some sorts of routine traffic stop by the Popo in a Portland. Based on the Popo report, it is said that when they stopped the vehicle, he actually complied. When they searched that vehicle, they found a tool and magazine or magazine. The audio was kind of shaky. It was either 15 or 50. That means if a 50 couple magazines. It was bad if this was some sort of illegal tool. But the facts are this. This man had a license to carry fire piece. However, that license expired in the later part of 2023. That means that he was either to renew that license to make it official. However, it is either he forgot or either he knew that they were not going to renew it. They pretty much cancelled it. Don't know the situation. All I know is that if that was the case that he could just easily renew the license. That means that he is incompetent. He is negligent. He is a waste artist. Because now he finds himself in a some sorts of predicament in which he was charged for some sorts of illegal tool. So just based on the new Firearm Amendment Act, that is going to be the category in which Chi Ching Ching finds himself, which carries a minimum mandatory of 15 years. That means that you cannot get any sorts of less of a time. However, I think based off the circumstance that he actually had a license at some time, even though that license has expired, I think that he might, might be in the operative word, get some sorts of leniency. That is yet to be determined, point blank and period. Further on in the news, the very disturbing fact is that you could be a legal, law-abiding, tax-paying citizen, Hard-working youth in a Jamaica and lose their life 
just like the common criminal on the streets. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a crossroad maybe less than 24 hours ago where it is said that a chef that works at Chicken Hunting. Chicken Hunting is one of those popular eatery in a Jamaica. These people are making buku cash. However, it is said that the chef was on his way across the road when he was approached by at least one assailant. The people him blaze him out. There is a video because of YouTube's policy. I cannot put it in a this video. He was seen laying out flat on the ground, pretty much still like the middle of the night. Them take him three points, them fly him dopey butts. Now people like me say, at times, persons live a double life. So therefore, you cannot swear for anybody. However, a lot of times, it is not what you do. It is the people that you are associated with, affiliated with. Call it if them can catch Quark or them catch him shot. I don't know if that is the case in this case. All I know is that the chef was laid out flat like some sorts of pancake. In the street, them pretty much grill him. Point blank and period. Look how the police lick off him. Buck like you them. London police them lick down you them. Bunks of you them off a bike to pussy class. And go and left them. Further on in the news. This one is called Two Wrongs Will Never Make a Right. In case you don't know, in a West Milan, the mode of transportation by a lot of persons, maybe 50% could be more, is the bike. Yeah, bike taxi. Some of them legal, some illegal. You have a whole bunch of bikes that are on the road, unlicensed, no fitness, no sorts of insurance, causing a major problem in the area. Based on the information, it is said that about Saturday night at about 8 something p.m. in the evening, two young men were joyriding on some sorts of bike. They are 14-year-old Tyreek Fraser, 19-year-old Javon Black. It is said that they were chased by the Popo because they did not have any sorts of registration, no sorts of license, not like that. So therefore, when the Popo tried to stop them, they did not stop them, press pedal to the metal and them blaze. It is said that they were chased by the Popo and in some sorts of dark area that is based on the family members and residents in the area that launched this fire protest right down the street from the Little London Popo station. They said that the youths got scared, the Popo chased them and lit them off. According to the Popo report, it is said that, yes, they did chase them. However, a next vehicle that was going in the opposite direction hit them off the bike and the driver of that vehicle did not stop. So pretty much he exited the scene of a crime. There was also a next bike that was behind the bike that was ridden by these two young youths. He was also hit. All three were taken to the hospital. However, Black and Mr. And the next one did not make it. However, the person on the second bike, he made it. It seems as if he is giving some sorts of information that is opposite, polar opposite to what the Popo put in their reports. Now, people like me say, whenever you are asked to stop by the traffic Popo, you should comply. Whenever you decide that you want to run away from the popo, cause some sorts of chase, then you put yourself in a very bad predicament. You endanger the life of other people upon the road, including yourself, including the popo. However, as a popo officer working in that era, you are not supposed to chase anybody and hit off anybody off any sorts of bike. That is not your job description. That is not your job title. That is wrong. That is criminal. And what is even worse is if and when you do stuff like this and then you try to cover it up, you try to lie, you put, try to put out some sorts of popo report blaming someone else. Because based on the information of that other individual that was on the bike and residents in the era, it is said that it is the Popo Jeep that ran down, chased these two youths that hit them off the bike. There was no other vehicle, no other motorist going in any other direction. As a matter of fact, after they did that, they fled the scene 
of the crime and call an ex jeep for go pick up the body and pick up the bike parts. Based on what residents is saying, not only did they hit the youths off the bike, them also try for life and report them take what themselves. And they also had other poor poor came and where the bike was supposed to be used as evidence by Indicom wearing to show that there was a hit from the back in a some sorts of mirror upon the back. That was also missing. So pretty much they were trying to sabotage the case. They were trying to lie. They were trying to cover up. After them pretty much M-U-R-D-E-R. -E these two youths. The sad thing is that. Of all of this we can expect nothing but cover up. So therefore cover up in the M-U-R-D-E-R. -E Popo fleeing the scene of the crime. And then cover up by other Popo that came on the scene of the crime. And try to hide the evidence. People, the sad state of affair in a Jamaica continues. These popo are nothing more than criminals. They are even worse than the common criminals. If what the residents and family members are saying is true. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.